because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, change has come to America. Barack Hussein Obama Jr., the 44th President of the United States of America, was born in Honolulu, Hawaii on August 4, 1961. By the time Obama was two, his parents had separated. In 1966, his mother Ann Dunham remarried, and the family moved to Jakarta, Indonesia. He was a mixed-race kid, but in Hawaii, this was not unusual, and he wasn't out of place in Indonesia. At 10 years old, Obama moved back to Hawaii to live with his grandparents. He graduated from Columbia University in 1983. He moved to Chicago, becoming a community organizer for low-income residents on the South Side. It was a good way for him to study power it, and how to use it and how to get it. Obama was admitted to Harvard Law School in 1988. The following summer, during an internship at a Chicago law firm, he met Michelle Robinson. She was in charge of mentoring him, and he was immediately smitten and started asking her out for dates. In law school, Obama was the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. After graduation, he returned to Chicago to practice civil rights law, teach law school, and organize Get Out the Vote campaigns. Obama and Michelle married in 1992 and then had two daughters, Malia and Sasha. And it was during that period where he decided that to do what he wanted to do in life in terms of changing the world, he had to go into elective politics. In 1996, Obama won a seat in the Republican-controlled Illinois State Senate. Republicans remember him as a great pragmatist in the state legislature, a guy that they could work with. In 2000, Obama suffered his only political loss in a run for the U.S. House of Representatives. But in 2004, he ran for the U.S. Senate and gave a high-profile keynote speech at the Democratic National Convention. People sat up in their chairs and said, where did he come from? People loved his message. His message was, we're not red states and blue states, you know, we're purple. At that moment, people thought of Barack Obama as a presidential candidate in waiting. 18 months ago, y'all didn't know who I was. Obama won his Senate race by a large margin. In 2007, the freshman senator announced he was running for President of the United States. His main opponent in the Democratic primaries was Hillary Clinton. He won the nomination. The choice in this election is not between regions or religions or genders. It is about the past versus the future. In 2008, he won the general election defeating Republican candidate John McCain. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. On January 20th, 2009, Obama was sworn in as the 44th President of the United States. Ten months later, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. He did, in his remarks, point out that there are justifiable uses of force and he would not shrink from using them. The 30,000 additional troops that I'm announcing tonight will deploy in the first part of 2010. While dealing with the consequences of inheriting two wars and attempting to develop a strategy for bringing them to an end, Obama and the U.S. military were able to track down and kill Osama bin Laden. Obama also pushed through several major policies during his first term in office, including helping repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. He passed, you know, health care with no Republican support, the big stimulus bill with no Republican support, but two women on the Supreme Court. Obama also began his presidency in the midst of the worst economic crisis that America has faced since the Great Depression. Despite bailouts for the auto and banking industries, the financial crisis on Wall Street led to record housing foreclosures. The national debt passed $16 trillion. Unemployment also remained high during his first term in office. The hole the recession left was huge, and progress has been painfully slow. Republicans nominated former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney to run against Obama in the 2012 presidential election. Real, achievable plans that will lead to new jobs, more opportunity, and rebuild this economy on a stronger foundation. That's what we can do in the next four years, and that is why I am running for a second term as President of the United States.